Good morning, everyone but Ella Jackson. After the pledge, yearbook, hot dogs of the week, art club, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hot dogs, if you're interested in purchasing a yearbook for this year, now is your time to. There is a week left to purchase them for the lowest price of the year for only $30. You can pay in partial payments if needed. Also, a payment of $10 will reserve your book at the sale price of $30. You can place your order online or at the bookstore. This week's Hot Dogs of the Week are Kyra Goodnight, Nicholas Morales, Sadie Lashbrook, Aiden Howe, Kristen Don and Kristen Donovan. Congrats, guys. There's an art club and photography club call out meeting tomorrow in community. Please check in with your community teachers and then head on down to the photo lab, room 150. Don't forget that Manchester University will be here on September 18th from 2.15 to 2.45 p.m. If you are interested, please go sign up in student services. Now, to Mr. Haircut for sports. Good morning, everyone. It's hump day. We're halfway through the week, baby. Last night was a big night as our boys' soccer team defeated a pretty big rival and conference opponent, the Lebanon Tigers. The boys won without allowing any goals with a score of 2-0. to zero. Coach Tyson says the team's defense kept the Tigers' chances to a minimum. The chances the Tigers did have were handled by the back four and goalkeeper Alex Flores. The first goal was scored by Daniel Bustos off a penalty kick in the first half. And the second goal was scored by Gail Hernandez with a header off a great assist by Ethan Hudspeth. Amazing job, boys, and nice assist, little bro. Boys JV also got a dub last night, 4-1. to one. Those four goals being scored by Joshua Ramirez Montenegro with two, Isaac Cruz, and Oscar Castro. Nice win, dogs. Y'all are killing it. Also last night, the boys tennis team unfortunately fell to Western Boone, 1-4. to four. The solo winner of his match was Alex Farley at three singles. Coach Calvert says Alex continues to improve his mental endurance and game strategies. Edwin Winscott fought a great match against a tough opponent who's undefeated this season at one singles. Edwin and Jackson Ray's leadership continues to, to show the team that you can never give up and to always fight a good fight. One doubles team, Carson Hale and Charlie Beardsley, are fun to watch. They fell short of a W, but not by much. Coach Calvert says that one doubles future is very exciting. Coach also says Isai Jimenez and Jack Michael at two doubles had a competitive match as well. This pair never gave up and kept attacking until the end of the match. Nice effort, boys. In with sports for tonight, the girls' volleyball team is traveling to Western to play the Panthers. Best of luck, ladies, and go win two in a row. That's just about all for sports today. Hope everyone has a great Wednesday, and I'll see everyone right back here tomorrow. Same time every day. Now to Ingrid with today's weather. Thank you, Aiden. Good morning, hot dogs. It was pretty chilly walking in this morning. We had cloudy skies. Don't worry though, it'll clear up later on this afternoon. We'll have sunny skies. Our high today is 73 degrees around 4 p.m. and our low is 55 degrees. So go out and enjoy the weather. Sunset sets at 8.30 p.m. tonight. Go watch it. That's it for weather, hot dogs. Have a great day. Now back to your host. Congrats to Mr. Hammond, the winner of yesterday's trivia. The correct answers were Parnelli and Forrest. A huge thank you to Forrest for the donation of the four tickets for Indiana Beach. Thank you, Forrest. For lunch today, in lines one and two will be Top and Go Dorito Taco. In line three will be four by six pizza. Lastly, in line four will be Chicken Fajita Bar. We want to give a big happy birthday to Riley Baker, to Tavion Holmes, Judas Sarabia, Hans Lloyd Winselslow, and lastly, Chase and Painter. That's it for the announcements today, dogs. Have a happy hump day and clap it up for Ella Jackson. <laughs>